Get off the sidelines and be a part of the show. Call Steve toll free at 1 877 Newsmax. That's 1 877 639 7629. Here is Steve Malsberg. Security in Afghanistan has stepped up this morning after a deadly shooting at a luxury hotel. Nine people, including four foreigners, were killed Thursday. It happened inside the restaurant at the Serena Hotel. The assault lasted some three hours. The four Taliban gunmen were killed by security forces. All right, folks, uh, welcome back to the uh, show. Uh, that uh, was uh, from last week, uh, Charlie Rose, CBS, courtesy of CBS. And uh, we have... Uh, a guest with us who uh, you uh, may remember from last time, and she's been a frequent guest at that uh, very hotel. We welcome in Sonia Nasseri Cole, founder of Afghanistan World Foundation, author, uh, filmmaker, of course, the Black Tulip. And uh, welcome back. It's great Thank to see you. Thank you so much. Nice right. to be back. When you saw that that hotel was, uh, was attacked, what went through your mind? It's really scary because that is one of the securest hotel in the entire Afghanistan. It's owned by Aga Khan, uh, Serena Hotel. And I've stayed there many, many times uh, for the visits because you feel safe there. So a lot of dignitaries, diplomats, UN people go there because it's a safe house. And there's four or five restaurants. And this psycho four boys went there. The, you have to go three, through three checkpoints in this hotel. I mean, you, they torture you to get there. How these boys put these massive shoes on and put their guns Inside. inside these shoes and then hide and them in the in. bathroom and then go while it's New Year's Eve in Afghanistan and um, a journalist for the first time take his wife and his two kids five and eight year old uh, five year old girl eight year old uh, boy and says as a treat for New Year's Eve I'm gonna take you to this fancy hotel for dinner and they shoot all four of them Just it is terrible. so sad what's happening and how they get away with it and it's escalating and escalating. They just killed 12 soldiers, Afghan police, in uh, 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 Jalalabad, mm -hmm. and 23, uh, three weeks ago, and another in Kandahar, policemen. Well, this is all, is all this related to the, uh, the elections? Absolutely. Yeah, intimidation. Intimidation, just, you know, watch out, because that's what we're gonna do. I was shooting during the election last time. Shooting a movie. Shoot, shooting a movie <laughs> on the streets <laughs> yeah, no of Kabul. No pun intended, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And this was even, I mean, I know exactly how you feel when you're there during the election. There was 27 suicide bombing in the time that I was there in three and a half months. And they bombed this hotel. The entire gym in this hotel blew up by bomb because the security was fine. And now they went right through it. So it shows that there is no safe place in Afghanistan to be. And, and, and will, they, will they accomplish their goal in intimidating uh, the voters? What this is the Taliban, of course, know. we're talking about, yeah. This whole election is a joke. Right. They, they, it's, it's not a real election. We, I mean, we in America have a problem with our elections, we think. But my God, if you want to see that election, it's a joke. So in this election, there is four people that really matter. It's um, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, which is um, Zalmay Rasuli that is now Minister of Foreign mm -hmm. Affairs, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, which is, y used to be the Minister of Foreign Affairs a few years ago with Karzai. And then there is uh, Dostan, which is the assistant uh, VP, VP of uh, the um, Ash Ashraf Ghani. And Ashraf Ghani is a Talib, solid Talib. I mean, completely pro-Taliban. And I wouldn't be surprised that he has a hand in these things. And his uh, VP is Dostan, which is, he has cancer, Ashraf Ghani, and Dostan is going to take over. Mm. And this guy is very scary, even scarier than Ashraf Ghani. The chances of, none of them are good. None of them. So whoever is going to be, bad news. it's going to be bad news. All right, so, so the future of Afghanistan. You know, we just had Karzai today, uh, in his own way, praising Vladimir Putin. What do you think the chances are of Russia coming in once we're gone? And it's been made very clear that Karzai you know, and the Afghanis don't want any part of the United States anymore. What about Russia filling that vacuum? Well, what, what Karzai says, do not interpret that that's what Afghans want. Karzai is really pro-Taliban now, and he is against the United States. But Afghan people don't feel that way. We, we have to clarify that. 
as far as what you're saying about Soviet Union, it's interesting you asked me that question. I said this the other day to somebody. I said, oh my God, I said, you know, they're going to go to Afghanistan now. They went, they failed big time. I mean, t 10 years of war, the end of the Soviet Union right. happened because of Afghanistan. Berlin Wall came down because of Afghanistan. And now, slowly, since we're not doing anything over here to, to really threaten them, like don't even think about it, I wonder if uh, uh, Bush was in power or McCain was in power, if P Putin had the guts to do such a well, horrifying thing. It never thing. would have been a reset if... Uh, That's if, right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. With the big button. But no, you're right. It's a, it's a very good point. But uh, so you think uh, that... Um, that Putin's emboldened now, and uh, I think it's a such s they they had a bite that they couldn't swallow, and I think so many uh, Russians died in Afghanistan in this ten years of war. So I think it, as a vendetta, they could go back and conquer it, and just say to Afghanistan, Get, look, look, you know, NATO, Af America did nothing. Taliban is going to take over. Would you prefer us to come? You have fought so hard, and your movie was such a great movie. And as you as you said, you you Black Tulip, you you faced such danger in making it, and. Um, and you're all about, you know, it's righting the wrongs and fighting for wor rights and civ women's rights and everything in, in, uh, in Afghanistan. S how pessimistic are you, or optimistic, but I think pessimistic right now, about the immediate future of, of Afghanistan? Terrified. Seriously terrified. Uh, the movie is anti-Taliban, uh, The Black Tulip. And uh, what's going to happen once we pull out is really going to be hell on earth. It's going to be devastating for the Afghan people. And I hope to God we don't stop the hu humanitarian aid in Afghanistan. I know that we did not succeed. We all know that. And we don't, I don't want any more Afghans or our young American soldiers to die in this war. It's, uh, we haven't succeeded. But we have to stay and help uh, humanitarian because this is going to be, especially for women, it's going to be a disaster because Taliban is going to tell them who you're going to call now. Yeah, no, great. And, and, and it's interesting. You talk. You you uh, you said Soviet Union before going back, but it's not. Of course, it's not the Soviet Union yet. Yes. But that's what Putin would like to see. It. Let me. Let, so talk about now what you're up to because you got the book. Talk about the book. Yes, the book. Actually, this evening we have a book signing and a screening of the Black Tulip. Where, at the, tell, tell folks where at the Women Republican Club at 6 p.m. tonight in New York City, and. Um, uh, the book is doing very well. I'm, the book is a journey of exactly what we, you and I were talking about. What was it like to shoot a movie in the middle of war, wow. a woman alone, uh, where women can't even walk on the street by themselves without a man? And I, was, I had a crew of 123 people, and all of them were male. And the, wom the boss was the woman. And everybody will come and say, who's the boss? I and mean, it's me. No, <laughs> the real boss we want to talk to. Right, right. And, um, well, you had to pay security guards and all that. Oh you had to know who you could trust, God. who you can't trust, right? I mean, it's crazy. Yes, you hire a security company to protect you. Then you hire security to, to watch you your from the security. security. <laughs> and then another security to watch them, and uh. then four other top guys to watch everybody. Wow. And still, you don't feel safe. Still, on your own set, you wonder if they're going to come and shoot you while you're shooting. Yeah, yeah. If you use your protecting you or he's going to shoot you well i mean it's all to this your book is about that journey yeah yeah okay. and it's all to your credit because uh the film is amazing and the book is amazing i've read the book Thank and you, uh you know you are you've done such great work and uh, you put your life out there on the line and you're, you're planning on, on more traveling you're going back to afghanistan yes i am can't even talk about it yes i am going and uh, going to egypt and uh, syria i want to do something about the islamic brotherhood the, uh, well, you know, they just sentenced, I think, 500 supporters of Morsi to death, if I'm not mistaken, in Egypt, which, that's I, th right. which I think is a good thing, and that's just me. Uh, I, uh, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely uh, but, agree you know, with this you. This administration, you wait, they'll, they'll object. They'll come out with a statement objecting. Of course objecting. they will. <laughs> of course they will. <laughs> will that be freezing, shocking? but great to see you again. Thank you so and, much. Uh, and that's, of course, Sonia Nasari cole ladies and gentlemen, uh, founder of Afghanistan World Foundation, author, filmmaker, and uh, it, you know, summing it up, uh, just a, a very, very br uh, woman uh, who has uh, been uh, uh, recognized for her uh, bravery and for her achievements and for her film. And if you haven't seen uh, The Black Tulip, uh, please uh, find it and uh, check it out because it's such an important story and uh, you really do need to see it. When we come back, it's Gimme Five. Gimme Five right here on The Steve Malsberg Show on Newsmax Television. <laughs>